Uh, I am good to go. Count down from three. Yeah, okay. Three, two, one. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Magic Mitch, the food adventurer, and it has been way too long. <laughs> Before I get into it, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's reached out since my last video, asking about where I've been, how I've been doing, and uh, yeah, just want to say thank you for the kind words, as they were much appreciated. Let me tell you something else. We are living in some crazy times of uncertainty right now. <laughs> I guess that would be a light way of putting it, but uh, that also isn't a significant reason why I decided to, I guess you could call this my comeback, but just generally speaking, what better time to make a comeback than right now? And I also thought that this video would be fitting because this is one of the more recent challenges that I've done. This was uh, done during my birthday week in January. Are you trying to help clean me too? No. I think it's like the other one because it's so cheesy. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. And for those who are unaware, the lady sitting next to me is none other than Raina Huang, or as Randy would say, Raina Huang. <laughs> oh, Randy, 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 Randy. So Raina and I just happened to be in the same area at the same time. This wasn't something that was planned. She was doing a food tour of the area while I was just down there for my birthday week. But since that was the case, we decided to meet up and take on this cheeseburger challenge at a place called Cold Beers and Cheeseburgers at their East Shea Boulevard location in Phoenix, Arizona. Now to quickly go over this challenge, because there are a few other things I want to talk about in this video. With this challenge, you get to choose how many half pound burger patties you get with your challenge, with a minimum being three. And in order to win, you have to beat whatever the record is for the number of patties. And each location has its own leaderboard. And if there isn't a record already set, the default is five minutes per patty. And in our case, Reyna went with six patties, I went with seven, both of which were undefeated. So Reyna had 30 minutes to complete her challenge, while I had 35. And if we were able to do so, we would get our meals for free, a free shirt, and our picture up on their leaderboards. Something I like to refer to as the gold standard. I think he said he'd give me like, like five bucks. <laughs> now with that out of the way, let's get into what I really want to talk about. And that is, since I've been gone, I've had a lot of time to think about what direction I want to take the videos moving forward. Now, you don't need to worry. These are still going to be food challenge videos, and I'm even going to throw in a few non-challenge related food adventures too. But during the videos, I do want to cover different topics. Things like how I'm feeling during the tours at the time of the challenge, or maybe even funny stories that have taken place. Like I'm sure you guys would just love to hear about the time Randy and I got detained in Dubai. <laughs> and yes, that is an actual thing that happened, and I'm not going to spoil too much of it, but let me just say that it was about 95, uh, it was about 100%. Yeah, it was about 100% my fault. <laughs> but anyways, something else I wanted to do moving forward is change up how I do my reviews, just a little bit. In the past, I would review food challenges on a 0 to 5 rating, and I want to change that to a thumbs up, thumbs down, because I want to make it more of a general review of whatever food adventure I'm embarking on. And I don't want to get into a situation where I have to compare challenges that are all 3s or 4s or 5s or anything like that. And I don't want the focus to be on being some sort of food critic, because for example, say like after doing 50 burger challenges, which, by the way, I'm fairly certain I've done way more than that. But for the example's sake, say like after doing 50 burger challenges. I could probably give you my top 10 favorite burger challenges. I might even be able to do a top 10 least favorite burger challenges. But as far as 11 through 39 go, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a crapshoot. <laughs> it would be so hard to distinguish, you know, it would be such nitpicking. And I don't want to focus on that. I just want to focus more on the experience itself. But if the food is bad, like it just tastes like absolute gutter trash, you best believe I'm going to tell you about it. And speaking of reviews, I've actually reviewed this challenge before. And if you want to check out that review, I'll leave a link for it down below. But if you just want a quick recap, this challenge is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I love everything about it. And this all goes right into something else I wanted to talk about. And that is being more transparent with all of you. And I want to do this in order for you guys to get more context. 
which is something I've been feeling stronger and stronger about. And that is because I personally think context is greatly lacking in numerous topics that relate to the realm of eating and food fighting. Using myself for example would be the fact that I very rarely eat as fast as I can when battling these food monstrosities. And it's actually one of the reasons why I don't actually consider myself a competitive eater. And this is something I could talk more in detail in a future video, but I just wanted to give you guys one quick example. And all of this is really based on the fact that what I see in the comments and what I've heard from fans who I've talked to during my food tours. But I'm still figuring out how to go about doing this exactly because there can be certain topics that are somewhat sensitive and I'm not looking to cause any commotion. Except when it comes for those food challenge reviews. <laughs> that will definitely not be an issue regardless if the food just tastes amazing or just tastes absolutely awful. Because I don't want to become someone who 99% of the time says they enjoyed the food, even when it's painfully obvious that they didn't. Whether that's because the meat was undercooked, or the fries were overcooked, or the bun was super hard and dry, or the restaurant just blatantly made the challenge bigger than advertised. With that being said, there's one last thing I want to talk about, and that is I want to hear from you. So let me know in the comments down below what sort of stuff you would like me to talk about in future videos or any questions you'd like me to answer. And it doesn't even have to be related to food challenges or anything like that either. I do want to make this an ongoing thing where I highlight questions or specific comments mentioned in previous videos and talk about it in future videos. Because if there's one thing I truly miss the most since my absence, it's talking with you guys. And you too ladies, don't worry, I didn't forget about you. And I also know it's been a while, so if you need a refresher on the current Food Challenge Tour videos, click the playlist link down below, and I look forward to hearing from you in the next video. Five bucks? <laughs> Both got the win. Can I try one of that? I'm actually like really interested. What's the magical word? Please. Thank you. Sweet potato pots. 